Hallie, hello! I'm Refashionista Sherry, and I am super crazy excited for the Barbie movie, so much so that I created a little challenge for myself to go to the thrift shop and see if I could thrift a reasonably priced Barbie a pink outfit to wear to go see the movie. And, la la, success! But not only did I thrift an outfit that I didn't have to do anything to, I also scored something that I plan on transforming into hopefully an awesome two-piece outfit that I will be able to wear to go see the movie. So uh, let's see what I got. Before I start sharing what I got, I just want to share this very, very cool Hawaiian shirt upsize that I did uh, a couple of years ago, I think. I shall link the tutorial down below, but I took two kids Hawaiian shirts that I had thrifted and I put them together to make this gorgeous one that fits me. And you see, I used like here, I have these little details and it has uh, two pockets. <laughs> so like I said, be sure to click the link down below and go and see exactly how I made this gorgeous shirt. Now let's get to the revealing. <laughs> Okay, first up are these totally adorable trousers, pants, I never know. Are trousers only with like a zipper and a button? And this is, you know, pants because it's got an elastic waist? I don't know, you let me know. Um, anyway, these actually were just hanging there, just waiting for me. And I almost walked past them because they were in the ladies wear section marked as a size zero. So usually I don't really look at that section because I'm not a size zero, but when I spied these a little bit, a little bit from afar, I had to definitely zoom in. And um, I don't know why they're marked as a size zero. They're, they're actually like children's pants and um, they're a size three. And clearly they're from like the 60s or 70s. So whatever size three meant back then, I guess is my size because they fit me perfectly and they are quite see-through-ish transparent, but they do have these little shorts as a liner in them. So that's great. And they are absolutely adorable. I love the little pinstripe here. Next is a very, very cute little pink bed jacket. I absolutely adore these vintage bed jackets and even though they're always a hundred percent polyester and they can be quite sweaty in the warmer months they are so fantastic for layering and they always have beautiful details on them they are just so sweet this one even has a teeny tiny little pocket now i don't know what you would put in there maybe maybe way back when you'd put your medication in there for when you were just lounging in your bed wearing your beautiful bed jacket but again this is another reason to never never skip the sleepwear section because you can find amazing things there and of course as i was going through the sleepwear section i found this super duper cutie patootie pink polka dot camisole i actually think it's like a pj top but i'm gonna wear it just as like a normal satiny tank top and i think it is giving off incredibly Y2K vibes, if anybody else remembers, wearing these kind of tops with like the lowest of low rise jeans. You know, I was there, I was with you wearing those same things. So that is the outfit that I put together and I think it all comes together so perfectly. It is pattern mixing, it is pink color mixing, but it is totally adorable. However, as I was going through that wonderful sleepwear section, I found this and as soon as I saw it, I was like, ah, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can transform that into a two piece something awesome. La -la, look at that. And you know what? This actually does have pockets. If I can get my hand in there. Yes, I can. La -la, look at that pockets and on both sides pockets with this adorable patchwork applique. I just, you don't get any cuter than that. And I think I can easily transform this into a crop top blouse and fingers crossed, possibly a pair of trousers. 
Um, I'm not super confident putting in zippers, so I'm going to see if I can somehow reuse the button placket as like a side kind of, you know, opening here. And uh, yeah, hopefully that is going to work. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully that tutorial is going to be coming up very, very soon. And as always, let me know down below what you think of my Barbie pink uh, thrifting scores. This is Confessions of a Refashionista.